Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this health to eternal salvation, through faith, may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. After the Mass, please, please stay for we will be having worship and a talk. And may we request those who are celebrating the birthdays and wedding anniversaries for the month of February to please come forward to receive a special blessing from Father Smith. All birthday and wedding anniversaries for the month of February. Please come forward. May I request everyone uh, to stand up? Uh, the, the celebrators, would you mind to bow your heads and pray for us, please? Let us all raise our hands towards them and pray for them. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless our brethren who are celebrating the, uh, the gift of life for this month of February. Uh, bless them together with their families and loved ones, thanking you for the gift of life, family, and friends. And may the Holy Spirit be upon them always so that their lives may always be pleasing to you, both now and forever. Together we pray, our Father who art in heaven. May from them come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Happy birthday, Father. Let us also thank Father Smith Marfori for celebrating the Holy Mass with us. Happy birthday, Paul, to all of you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O God, over the mysteries of redemption they have celebrated and grant its members the perseverance to attain the effects that flow from them through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
evening, Feast Aura. Come on, let's stand. We're going to praise God today. Who's excited to praise God today? Can I see a raise of hands? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in Luke 1, 37, it says, For nothing is impossible with God. Can you declare that praise to the person beside you? Tell that person nothing is impossible with God. Come on. Amen. Whatever burden or whatever trial you're facing right now, we come together to declare that God is powerful, that God is good. Come on, everybody. Put your hands up. Come on. together unstoppable god unstoppable god let your glory go on and on impossible things in your name that shall be done freedom conquered all our chains undone sin defeated jesus is over Jesus, come on, we say, mercy triumph, when the third day dawn, darkness was denied to the storm was gone. Come on, raise your hands to Jesus today. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Yeah. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Jesus say, come on. Nothing is impossible with God. Whatever trial you have right now, let us declare that Jesus is here tonight. And He's going to make great things for us. Come on. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Always say, Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Come on. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God. Come on, louder. Come on, we say. Nothing shall be your kingdom reigns unstoppable. You shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God. Come on, now that we say, nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. You shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God. Unstoppable, unstoppable God. Let you go. If you have prayers in your hearts, if you have desires and wishes that you want to say to the Lord and pray, 
Lift up all your hands higher than they can be. Lift, lift and close your eyes. Feel this presence. Feel every beat. Feel His holiness. Holy Spirit, come to us. Help us feel this presence of the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, you loved us. Your love conquers all. Everything that we have right now, we come here maybe with big baggage, problems in life, problems with our health, problems with our family, challenges in our lives, at work, financial. Lord, everything we lift up to you. Everything we surrender to you. Lift your hands higher and close your eyes as we celebrate God's love for us. This month is a love month and it's by grateful heart that we feel our thankfulness, our gratefulness, and for whatever we are, for whoever we are, we are a child of God. We come from a single womb, and by right, we have been declared the child of Jesus, the child of God. Jesus Christ, our Savior, your love upon us. Raise your hands up as we sing. Feel His presence and sing His love.
brothers and sisters, he is here now. He will always be here in his love. Good evening, everybody. Come on, you can do better than that. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, that was a powerful worship, amen. Did you feel the presence of God? That's why we love being at the feast. We come, we celebrate Mass, the highest form of worship. And then deep on the top of stone, we worship with beautiful songs. Your songs touch the heart, change eyes. I believe that God was healing people even during worship. If you feel the, you know, sometimes you feel the bass, you know, reverberating inside you or the drums. You know, I believe that the there's a scientific study. I don't know if I've shared that with you, that the, the vibrations of the music bring healing to the body. So I believe that in this place, bodies are being healed. Spirits are being made whole. Our minds are being healed. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. We're coming to the end of our Courage series. Today is our big day. For the past three weeks, we've been talking about um, courageous obedience, courageous faith, courageous um, love. And today, we're going to celebrate who we are and uh, become more courageous. Again, I just want to, uh, you know, I, I, I believe that um, there's this, this, there's this uh, sister who serves um, it, with us in our magazine um, and um, at the beginning of the year, did I, did I share this already? At the beginning, beginning of the year, she would always ask the Lord, not for a passage, not for a, you know, a message, but she would just ask for one word. And um, that would be like the prophecy, you know, the word that she would hold on to for the rest of that year. And for us at the feast, I believe that word is brave because in, uh, that's the, also the theme of our Kerygma conference. And we started the year with a, our, our theme of courage. I believe that God wants us to be brave and courageous in our faith, in our love, in um, doing our service for Him. So today we're going we're gonna, to uh, end the series with a bang. Amen? Okay, so um, together let's pray our favorite prayer at the feast. And together we proclaim, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's. I'm God's, amen, I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I'm blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. And together we sing and honor the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto And our word for today comes from the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel 17. And um, this is a story. It's one of the most, you know, well-known stories from the Bible. It's about David and Goliath. Alam natin yan, di ba? Kilala natin yan. And this comes from 1 Samuel 17, verse 10. Then the Philistine, who is Goliath, said, This day I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. So the backstory of this um, Bible um, verse, this passage here, is that Goliath was challenging Israel. Okay, so Goliath is a Philistine; he's um, the enemy of the of Israel, and he was challenging the army of um, King Saul to a duel. Instead of parang wag na tayo maggera, duel na lang. Isa na lang magpadala kayo ng isang sundalo, lalaban sa akin. Kung sino panalo, tapos na yung gera. But then this guy, Goliath, well, if you, you read the different, I've read the different Bible versions, you know, they, they vary in the size of um, Goliath, but he's at least a uh, seven-footer. Other, other um, Bible translations say he's even eight feet or nine feet, and he's like, you know, he's like a human armor, you know, an armored truck, a tank, you know, and nobody, everybody, he, every day he challenged he would challenge the armies of Israel and nobody was, was uh, courageous enough 
to fight against him. Nobody was, everybody was so fearful of going against this guy. Um, but then, so in um, 1 Samuel, do we have that? Yeah, in 1 Samuel 17, verse 10, sabi, they were all, not a single soldier was brave enough to go forward. In fact, they were dismayed and terrified. Naunahan na sila ng takot at wala nang gustong lumaban sa kanya. Pero, one day, itong si David, na hindi naman sundalo ng Israel, he was the youngest of his brothers. His brothers were serving in the army. Inutusan magdala ng pandesal sa mga kuya niya sa battlefield. And when he was bringing the food to his brothers, aba, narinig na naman niya itong si Goliath challenging the armies of Israel. And David was a boy. That's how the Bible um described him. David was a boy, so I can imagine he was probably like a teenager, you know, a tween or something. He was probably skinny, and he was small and tiny. And when he heard this, sabi niya, Aba, wala, sino to? Sino to? Sabi dito sa, ano, sa uh, uh, Samuel 17 verse 10, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the living army, the armies of the living God? So this boy David goes up to the king of, of um, Israel, to King Saul, and he says, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight this giant. So can you imagine you're the king, you're King Saul, and you hear this, you know, uh, taga youth ministry natin. <laughs> diba? Ako na lang, ako na lang. Parang, teka, hindi to video game, ha? Uh, hindi to plants or, and zombies, ha? hindi to whatever. But then David says, no. David, David was unafraid and um, your ability to seize your next big thing comes from giving your all to that small thing that is already in front of you well for David it wasn't a small thing it was a huge giant named Goliath but he said yes he said yes and he volunteered and um, Saul King Saul looked at him and um, in verse 33, sabi, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man, and he has been a warrior from his youth. But listen to how David answered. Parang kung isipin mo, parang walang connect. Sabi niya, the Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. His experience as a shepherd boy, he relates it now to something else which he has practically, literally no experience about. He's a shepherd boy taking care of sheep. But then, yung win niya dito, yung victory niya, yung galing niya dito, sabi niya, hindi. Parehong Diyos yan. Leon yan. O experience warrior, pareho lang ang Diyos ko. Kaya natin yan. Galing, no? Galing. And so, um, David was celebrating his past wins. He was celebrating who he was. He knew that he was God's champion. Whether we, he was out in the field, caring for sheep, or in front of the arena, in front of a battlefield, going against um, Goliath. So, you know, this is a powerful message that God wants us to give us today. Some of you are facing giants, giants of problems, giants of credit card bills, giants of Meralco bill, giants of, you know, finding another job, giants of relationship problems, and God is saying, you have to look back. Look back at your past. Look, ba look back at how God worked in your life in the past. And whatever that win was for you, whatever, however God won that victory for you in the past, it's the same thing here. It may just be a different monster. It may be a different giant. It may be a different battle. But you're still going through it with the same God. Amen? Amen. So we thank God. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. And we thank God for his powerful word to us as we sing. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet.
as you sit down, tell the person next to you, God's going to speak to you powerfully. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you, music ministry. Thank you for blessing us. Okay. You know, we, let me share with you something. And um, there was a time, this is a story of um, a part of my life when I almost lost my job. I almost lost my job. I, I had a strong disagreement with my boss. And um, I was acting according to my beliefs, what I thought was right, what I thought God wanted me to do. And unfortunately, it was not what my boss wanted to do. So I had, I reached a point when I had to make a stand and I had to do something that was uh, opposite of what he wanted me to do. But I, I just knew that that was what God had wanted me to do. So nangyari, I was... I was at that point where, you know, you know, you know, you know di ba? Di ba? Ang babanggain mo yung boss mo eh. Di ba? So I said, wala na to. Well, I'm gonna lose my job. And so I was, I was suspended from work for two to three weeks, I think. I can't remember now. Dahil ayaw makita ng boss ko yung mukha ko. Di ba? Umiinit ang ulo niya pag nakikita niya ako. And that two to three weeks, I was just fasting and praying. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I love my job. But what if I lose this? You know, where will I get a, a job like this? I, I was enjoying my work. I loved, uh, I loved the job. I also was um, being paid well. And so I said, Naku, sana ko ma mahawalan ako ng trabaho. Pero Lord, bahala ka na. You know, there was that uncertainty of my future. But at the same time, I was, you know, of course, you get anxious, you know. But then at the same time, uh, I, I had been in that exact same place before, like 10 years before that time, I, I lost everything. I lost everything. I lost my job. I lost my friends. I lost my business. I lost, I lost everything. And uh, even after that, my, my life turned out for the better. So I knew that um, even if I was in a place where I lo it looked like I was going to lose my job, I knew um, I trusted in the Lord that he would you know, bring me to a better place. And that's exactly what happened to me. It was the end of, um, I, I thought it was a, um, what I thought was the end was the beginning of something way better. So our brain, you know, it, it, it has a fantastic way of um, serving to increase our faith in God if we use it the right way. If we use it the right way. And um, ang problema lang, yung brains natin, parang may bug siya. Parang kumbaga sa computer program, di ba? Minsan nagkakaroon siya ng bugs. So, um, nagmamalfunction yung brain natin minsan. So, our brain can be used to, you know, increase our faith, but it can also be used to increase our fear. So, we have two problems with our brain. The first one is that our brain is programmed by fear. Our, our, naturally, our brains are programmed by fear. There's a part of our brain called the amygdala. It's um, there. It's a tiny part of our brain, and it's wired for survival. The purpose of that amygdala is, you know, to protect us from dying. It warns us. So, ang, ang role niya is to be suspicious palagi. Kasi survival ang, ang, um, ano niya eh, ang function niya. So, that, that was awesome when uh, we lived you know, 10,000 years ago when man was, you know, living in the wild. And, uh, you know, imagine, imagine this. Um, your mom, your pauwi kayo from hunting and your mom says, ay mga anak, salamat sa Diyos. Wala na yung mga dagang kumakain ng mga pagkain natin. Ay talaga mami, bakit? Ay buti naman, wala na yung mga daga. Oo, kasi dumating na kung nagdagsaan yung mga ano, ahas. Kinain lahat ng mga daga, kaya wala nang daga. Puro ahas na lang. ba? Yung ganong klaseng, ganong klaseng environment ka nabubuhay, ba? O kaya yung, yung uh, daddy mo tatanungin sa'yo, uy, nasan yung ano, saan yung bunso natin? Ay, ewan ko, hindi ko nakita eh. Ha, tingnan mo nga, umakit ka dun sa, sa bundok, tingnan mo yung mga leon dun, tingnan mo kung si leon, sinong leon yung malaking siyan, baka na, nalunok na yung kapatid mo, ba? So, kailangan mo yung function ng uh, amygdala to, the, to do that. Or, may kap, yung mga kapitbahay nyo, mga cannibals, ba? Tapos tuwing masasalubong nyo sila, sasabihin sa'yo ng kapitbahay mo, hmm, you smell yummy. 
Di ba? Let's have lunch together sometime. Tapos sa loob-loob mo, huwag na mami ako pa yung lunch mo. Di ba? So pag during that time, the amygdala is, was, uh, you know, performing the function. Uh, it fear. It was programmed to fear. But then now, sino sa inyong may kinalang cannibal? Meron? Kapitbahay? Di ba? Hindi eh, na ganun yung mundo natin ngayon. Kay, sinong, sinong mga may, may leon na you know, naglalakad dyan sa labas ng mga village nyo. Di ba? We live in a totally different world. Ngayon, yung mga monsters that we encounter are not, you know, um, animals or whatever, um, wild animals in the, in the forest. Ang mga monsters na na-encounter na natin ngayon ay eh, yung, yung masungit nating boss o yung boss na kaaway natin, di ba? Or yung uh, kamag-anak natin, you know, a uh, 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 relative who's um, not not uh, we're, we're not in good terms with, di ba? Yan na or yung ka- mga cannibal ngayon, yung mga sumisira sa atin, sa reputation natin. So that's what happens. That's what happens to us now. And you know, in a certain way that's that's how the amygdala still works. But really the it it's kind of like outgrown its function so the brain our brain is um naturally wired for fear and the second um uh defect is that our brain is always focused on failures so your brain uh, neurologists will tell you this that the human memory kala natin yun yung pinaka accurate source of data di ba kaya sa 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 court Diba? Pag may witness ka, if you have two witnesses, you can put a man to jail. But sometimes, kala mo yung, yung kitang-kita mo na, diba? kala mo, nakita ko yun ang ginawa niya. It's not, uh, it's not an accurate source of history. Your brain does not store data. It stores your biased interpretation of data. Kaya hindi accurate eh. Kasi lahat tayo, you know, whatever, yung, yung nakita nating experience, it's always skewed. Kaya sa isang um, e, uh, incident ng nangyari, ikaw at isang kaibigan, nag-away kayo, pag kwinento nyo sa mga kaibigan nyo, di ba? May, may, may slight variation. Di ba? Palaging, palagi kasi syempre iba yung perception ko sa pangyayari kesa sa perception mo. I want you to watch this um, video. It's just a, a, a one minute video. I'm sure some of you have seen this, but I just want to prove a point. Let's watch that. Teka lang. Audio. Rewind, rewind. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause the video. This is an awareness test. How many passes does the team in white make? Ilan? The answer is 13. Ah, galing! But... Did you see the moonwalking bear? Go! Ayun na, nakita niya. It's a commercial for cyclists. And, um, you know, just as our brains, nakita nyo ba yung moonwalking bear <laughs> sa second? Yeah, because I had to watch it three times. Kasi nung second time, binilang ko pa rin. <laughs> Kaya hindi ko pa rin nakita yung moonwalking bear. I had to watch it again for a third time. And um, so just as our brains, you know, were programmed to watch out for the ball uh, of the white team, because that's what we were told, our, our brains are normally wired to only notice our failures. Look at this. Look at this slide. Next one, after the, after the video, the video side, the next one. You, yeah. Wha- what do you notice here? The black dot. Lahat tayo, na-notice natin yung black dot. But bakit hindi natin nasabi? There's white. 
it's predominantly white. Pero ang napansin natin, oh, there's a black dot, there's a blemish, may, may dumi. Kasi ang brains natin, <coughs> we're, we're, it's wired to notice the failures, the defects, the faults of others. Pansinin nyo. <coughs> yung mga nicknames natin sa mga tao, yung mga pag nag-class reunion, nag-homecoming, di ba? Yung mga nicknames, di ba? Ay, ayan na si Putol! Di ba? Si Putol, put, Putol kasi yung kamay. Hindi, hindi na, na nakita, hindi na naalala na, grabe, itong taong na to, he built an empire, he's now, you know, dati ang hirap-hirap niyan, tapos he made his billions, di ba, tapos ang dami na niyang mga projects, pero pagkita pa rin sa kanya, ang tawag pa rin sa kanya ng mga kaibigan, ay si Putol, ang naalala yung defect, di ba pwede, ay si billionaire, ay si, ano, grabing yaman, di ba, ang naalala, ay ito, meron pa ka, Meron pa akong isang kalala, doktor siya, pero duling. So, ang tawag sa kanya ng mga kaibigan niya, Uy, si Doc Leng! O, oh, di ba? Di ba? Mayaman siya, accomplished, businessman, doktor. Di ba? Ang dami naman pwede itawag sa kanya, pero Doc Leng! Di ba? Kasi ang nakikita natin, what stays with us is what is the fault or the defect of that person. You know, um, We, we, the, the, the bug of our human memory is that we remember the wrong things. We remember the wrong things. Um, five years ago, I shared this with um, some of the servants, some of you who were here early. Five years ago, um, uh, we received news that I have two brothers in, in the U.S. We received news that my, my, um, the younger one of them uh, met a, a, an accident. Yun nga kaya, watch out for cyclists. Kasi he was, uh, he's a cyclist and he had a really, really bad accident. And um, even before he reached the emergency room, he was already in a coma. And um, grabe, naalala ko yon when I, I, I read the news, uh, uh, the text, and then I talked to my, my brother and he gave us an update. You know, the first thing, the first prayer I said, because my, my, um, they weren't sure if he was going to make it. Uh, and the first prayer I said was, Lord, ka Um, kahit baldado, basta buhay. Kahit baldado, basta buhay. Because the doctor said, you know, we're gonna see if uh, in three days, if he lives, in, you know, till three days, then there's a chance that he will make it, but uh, we can't promise he might be a vegetable. So you know what? That, that made us, we started a prayer chain here in the Philippines and Um, uh, in the in the U.S. and we would pray 12 noon here was 12 midnight um, there in the East Coast and we would pray noon and night every single day and you know we learned to focus on the good things. Ev so many things were wrong with him. So many he was in the ICU. His his um, they had to uh, cut out a part of his skull because the brain was. Um, you know, uh, it was swollen, and uh, he was in a coma for months. And uh, but every single positive thing was good news for us. We weren't focusing on the white dot on the you know uh, the, on the paper. We were looking at everything else. You know, we nag twitch yung kamay niya. Wow, sign of life. You know, every little thing. And uh, the doctor said he could be a vegetable and any, and uh, you know, when a person is in coma, you know, napapanood natin sa sine, pag nagising siya sa coma, parang nagising lang siya from sleep, di ba? Pero sa totoo pala, when you wake up from a coma, it's like you wake up for 30 seconds and then you're asleep again. You wake up for a minute the next day and then you're asleep again. And then so it was a very, very slow um, recovery. And um, it, it, for me, It taught me not to focus on the failure. It taught me to focus on the right things, not on the wrong things. Today, my brother is here. He's visiting from the U.S. He's uh, first time to travel after that accident. Kuya, can you stand up and just say hi to them? That's him. So when I see him, I, I you know the song that we sang? Thanks, Kuya. The song that we sang kanina, um, what song was that? The, the slow song, the second song. Love on the line, yeah. You know, the, the remembering the faithfulness of God. Tama ba? Yun ba yung, 
or am I referring to another song? Yung faithfulness ni Lord and uh, His promise. Tama ba? Anong song yun? Do it again. Yun. Do it again. You know, when I see Him, I know God will do it again. God can do it again. What God, what the miracle that He He gave us as a family with Him. I know that every time we we face um, a Goliath, I know that God will do it again. So we have to we have to um, train our brains not to focus on the failure, but to focus on the wins. Ask any child, and every child knows. If you ask them, what's bigger, nine or one? Nine or one, children. Of course it's nine. But as uh, uh, our brains are not wired that way. We get nine victories and then one loss. Anong naaalala natin? The one loss. Yun yung magnified. Nade-depress tayo. Di ba? To the point of depression. That one loss is magnified. And again, that was useful uh, in the when we were living, you know, as cavemen 10,000 years ago, that was useful because when you're hunting for food and you see, you know, a patch of different kinds of mushrooms, you see, you don't see the nine mushrooms, the ki nine kinds of mushrooms na okay kainin. You're watching out for that one mushroom na monte ka nang namatay kasi nakakalason pala siya. Diba? Because nga, the, we're wired to survive. But then now, since we don't encounter those things, we have to retrain. We have to retrain our thinking. So how do we do that? Um, two powerful ways to rewire our brain. The first one is we need to celebrate our wins. Can you say that with me? Celebrate our wins. Um, Psalm um, 77 verse 11 to 13 says, I recall the many miracles he did for me so long ago. Those wonderful deeds are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about them. Does this passage apply to you? Does this psalm apply to you? Because most of the time for me, what I can't stop thinking about are the wrong things I've done. Tama ba ako? My failures. Yung, yung mali ko. Yung, you know? Let me share with you something that I haven't shared with anyone. It's really mahirap siyang i-share sa akin kasi masakit. But um, for those of you who were in the Jewels Conference last year, I gave a talk on purity and for the first time, wow, feeling ko parang walang, walang nagre-react, lahat tahimik, walang. And I felt, you know, it, I felt like I was on stage and I felt like my message was being rejected. You know, kinarga ko yun, ang tagal kong na-depress. Two weeks ako yatang depressed dahil sa talk ko na yun sa Jewels Conference. But how many times in a year do I preach? How many times in a year do people come up to me and say, oh my gosh, your talk changed my life. And even after that talk in Jewels, there were people who came to me, a good number of people who said, wow, that message, it was hard, but it was, but I didn't focus on that. They're very, uh, you know, lame clapping and uh, very quiet. And God always commanded the Jews to not forget, never forget what I did for you in the past. Let me tell you about this. You know, I, I read this somewhere. And sabi nila, if you want proof that God is alive, that there is a God, look at the history of Israel. Let me just tell you. Preserve nila. They were teaching their children. Because that was in, in the book of um, Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 9. Sabi ni Lord, be on guard. Sabi ni God sa Israel um, nation, be on your guard and be very careful not to forget the things your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart as long as you live, but make them known to your children and to your children's children. What were they doing? They were passing it on. The miracle that they saw, yung ginawa ni Lord sa buhay nila, kukwento nila sa mga anak nila in their native language, in French, Hindi in Russia. The Jews were all over Europe and all over the world. And it was only in 1948 when all the Jews all over, after six million of them were exterminated um, during World War II by Hitler, 
In 1948, they all came back from all over the world, went back to Israel, the promised land of God, and they claimed it as their own. And they've been fighting for, kaya di ba, pag manood kayo ng CNN, palagi every year may gera dyan, nag-aaway yung mga Arabs at saka mga Israel. Up to now, they're still fighting for their promised land, the land that God has given them. But that's, that's so, you know, they're, they're celebrating their win by telling their children and their children's children, hindi itong ginawa ng Diyos natin para sa atin. The Israelite army, the army of Israel today is so tiny compared to all of the Arab countries surrounding them. You can Google it. You can see the map. And they have enemies. They're surrounded by enemy nations. But why do they win? They're so tiny. But why do they win? Because they celebrate their win in the past. Amen? So here's a life hack um, for us. Let's not just remember our wins. Let's reverse engineer them. Let's reverse engineer them. We can ask back, how did, what did I do that made me win at that time? How did I do that talk? You know, how did I deliver that talk that was so well received? You know, and that 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 talk that that Jewel's talk that I gave, ang tagal kong ni ni reverse engineer. You know, what did I do? How could I how could I have done it in a way na mas nalunok ng mga tao yung message on purity, di ba? So we reverse engineer it and we we learn from it. And then you can also make um, a list. You can write it down. You know, so if you're a salesman and you've been making all these big um, uh, deals, you've been closing big deals. Reverse engineer. Ano yung ginawa ko? Ano yung ginawa ko dito that helped me close the deal? At yung ginawa ko dito that I lost the deal that I thought I clinched. Diba? So that's reverse engineering it. And detailed memories are more powerful than vague memories. Kaya kailangan yung wins natin. Uh, palagi nating iisipin, you know, we, 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 hihimayin natin para maging detailed yung memory natin. The thing with our brain is, we remember in detail when we fail. Because, again, you're looking at mushrooms, you're, you're getting food, natikman mo na lahat, sampu sila. Ang maaalala mo, nung time na kinain mo yung poisonous mushroom, tapos halos mamatay ka na sa sakit, doon sa diarrhea at lahat. Di ba? So the, the vivid memory is not so much yung niluto mo, kinain mo, tapos nabusog ka. Hindi. Yung monte ka na namatay. That's what's framed in the mind. That's, that's, what, that's what's hanging in, in the wall of your mind. Yun yung naalala natin. So we need to, you know, make our victories detailed in our memories para mas lalo nating maalala. But it's not just enough to celebrate our win. We have to celebrate our greatest win. And what's that? You know, if you look at First um, Samuel 17, ito yung sagot ni, ni David, di ba? Sabi ni David, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. So did you notice where David's courage was coming from? He was drawing from, yeah, he was drawing from his previous win. Diba? Makapatay ka ba naman ng bear? Diba? Siyempre yung the adrenaline rush. Diba? Diba? Parang, yeah, feeling, ano, feeling champion na champion ka. Diba? But he wasn't just drawing from that victory. He was, he was, his courage came from his God who gave him his past victories. Because there are two kinds of courage. One is human courage. Yung wala lang, atapang atao ka lang. Di ba? Basta, okay ka lang, matapang ka, kahit ano, sige, go. Di ba? But you will know that your human courage can only take you so far. You know, ako po, hindi po ako taong matatakutin sa, sa dilim. Di ba? But there are times na minsan yung parang biglang, ah, Sana'y ilaw, sana yung mga taong kasama ko. Di ba? You know, you, you know, human courage will only take you so far. And where human courage ends, you know, um, that's where our God courage begins. Our holy courage. Yung tapang nagaling sa Diyos. So David didn't just have self-confidence. He also had God confidence. He was confident in his God. I remember um, 
I, I, I have a friend na pag ganyan siya, eh, matatakotin yun sa dilim. Pag nasa dilim siya, kahit na malaki na siya, matanda na siya, pag natatakot siya, sabi, Jesus, 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 Jesus. So, nag-compose siya ng song na, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Kasi para, pag natatakot siya, kantahin lang niya yung name ni Lord. But it stirs up God. It stirs up holy confidence in us. Di ba? Kesa sa naman, multo, multo, multo. E di lalo kung natakot sa dilim, di ba? So, we need holy courage um, that uh, God gives us. So, I want to end this message with three um, personal and prophetic messages from God. Personal messages, prophetic messages that God is speaking to each of us personally. Number one is, say this with me. This is God speaking to us. Say your name. And say, I celebrate who you are. So this is God speaking to me. Risa, I celebrate who you are. Can you do that? Say your name. And, and this is God speaking to you. One, two, three. Risa, I celebrate who you are. God celebrates who we are. God celebrates me. Talaga. Talaga. Ako. Diba? You know, It's amazing to think because we just focus on what we do wrong. But in truth, we can act, we, we're the source of joy of God. You know, while we only see our failures, God celebrates us. So again, say, say this with me. This is God speaking to you. One, two, three. Risa, I celebrate who you are. That's God's message, first message for us. Second is, Second message of God is, you're my masterpiece. And I'm proud of my masterpiece. You know, sometimes we're not even proud of ourselves. You know, my daughters, I have a uh, 10 and a 9-year-old. And sometimes they will say with me, Mama, you know what I did in school? I did this. Or, you know, they had a soccer game kanina. Mom, I was able to do, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, do two goals. I go, oh, did you, you kick two goals? Sabi niya, no, I was able to prevent two goals. Oh, okay, then yun, ha? Di ba? <laughs> Pwede rin yun. So they won the game this, this afternoon. But, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll say something that they did well, and then they'll say, Mama, are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? And I always tell them, I say, I say to them, you know what? I'm so proud of you. But even if you don't do anything, I'm already proud of you. I'm already proud of you. And God is like that to us. God is, kasi tayo, minsan ang tingin natin sa sarili natin, I have to do something, I have to be something before, you know, God can be proud of me or before I can be able to lift my chin or I can face other people. But the truth is, God is already proud of you just as you are because of who you are so you got you are god's masterpiece and he's proud of you so we can write down you know this is a uh, later on i'm gonna uh, tell you um what we can do as an exercise for this but you know there are things that sometimes we have to affirm ourselves tama Sometimes we want to hear it from other people. Uy, ang galing mo. Uy, grabe yung article mo, nakakabless. Or yung talk mo, nakakabless. Sa, masarap naman marinig yun. But sometimes, hindi tayo naniniwala pag iba nagsabi, di ba? Kasi sasabihin sa'yo, ay, grabe, ang, ang powerful ng talk mo. Hindi, ang pangit. Hindi, yun nga, yung ano eh. Sama ng loob ko eh. Kaya nga, depressed ako ng two weeks eh. Di ba? Kasi hindi tayo naniniwala. So sometimes, we have to affirm ourselves. And you know, if you need to do this, um, and this is our homework, Uh, for this week, write down, make a list of I am blank. Affirm yourself. You know, I'm a good mother. I'm not great because I know there are other, you know, tawag ko sa kanila mga mutant mothers, di ba? Na kaya nilang gawing lahat. Ako, I'm a good mother. You know, I'm a loving wife. Not perfect, but, you know, I massage my husband's feet every time, <coughs> di ba? Every time he asks me, minsan gabi-gabi yun, kahit na antok na antok na ako, kaya kaninang umaga, may radyo ng alas 5 ng umaga, kailangan ako magising before 4 o'clock at naka-makeup na, di ba? Pero biglang mga 11 o'clock, massage, foot massage, aray ko, duling na duling na ako, sige lang. Di ba? I'm a good wife. Di ba? You know, and I th I, I'm, a, I'm a good editor. I'm a good, maybe I'm one of the best editors in the Philippines. <laughs> diba? You know, we, see. So I want, whoo, yeah. 
ba? So, you know, we have to do this, make a list so that we can affirm ourselves because we don't see. We don't see how God sees us. We don't see how God sees us. Okay, um, um, and third message uh, of God to us today is when you celebrate who you are, you're celebrating with me. You know, when I look at my daughters, I remember when my eldest was younger, um, Hindi, hindi naman pwede, no? Eldest na nga siya, naging younger pa. Ibig ko sabihin, nung mas bata pa yung, yung panganay ko, yun ang ibig ko sabihin. And you know, she would, you know, she would be so frustrated kasi uh, alpha eh. You know, alam mo yung kailangan alpha personality siya, kailangan, kala niya pag may ginawa siya, kaya na niya agad, diba? And she gets so frustrated, you know, Mama, I can't do this! Ganyan. And I tell her, no, you can It's the first time you're trying it. All you have to do is just keep on trying and you'll be able to do it. Diba? And then she said, I'm so bad at this, mom. And then I have to correct her. I said, no, you're not bad at it. You're not bad at it. Because look at you. You know, now you're better than when you started 15 minutes ago or yesterday. Diba? So sometimes we, 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 we don't celebrate and we don't appreciate who we are. But when I see her, and then she's able to do her task. And she says, Mama, look, look, I'm able to do it. And she's celebrating with me because I'm already celebrating her. I'm already celebrating her, her gifts, her beauty, her, her spirit. I'm already celebrating her. And sometimes as parents, we see the gifts that our kids have that they don't yet recognize. Tama? Diba? And so we have to celebrate. We celebrate it, but it's even better when they recognize it for themselves and they celebrate with us. Amen? So I want to end by saying that God is our greatest win. God is our greatest win. Can you say that with me? God is our greatest win. And having God in our lives makes us champions, makes us victor in the different areas of our lives. So um, I want to... I want to end by giving us this prayer exercise. And the prayer exercise that I want you to take home, or you can do it maybe during um, while we're worshiping here, is to think, what has God already done in my life? Ano na yung ginawa ni Lord? Kasi minsan ang iniisip natin, Lord, hindi mo pa sinasagot yung prayer ko. Tsaka to Lord, ako ang tagal-tagal ko na sinusulat to sa novena to God's love hanggang ngayon. Yung aking one true love hanggang ngayon, single pa rin ako, wala nang liligaw. Diba? Tapos ayan na, Lord, ba, February na naman, love month na naman, Valentine's, wala na naman akong date. Diba? Yun lang yung na nakikita natin. Hindi, but what has God, you know, let's celebrate our past. Let's celebrate our past wins. So our prayer exercise is get your phones or any piece of paper, you know, write down a list. And you can do this. Um, I think it's better if you do it. You can, you can start it now if you want or, you know, take it home during your personal prayer time. Because I think when you get started, you're going to be writing a lot of things. What God has already done in your life, write down your wins. Write down your wins. Write down some I am statements, who you are in Christ. I am I'm a faithful servant. I'm a reliable person. At work, you know, people like giving me tasks because I'm able to complete it. You know, I write down these statements and affirm yourself and allow God to affirm you um, through these. And then read that list, you know, now and again, and just thank God. Celebrate who you are. Celebrate your wins. And every time you face a giant, a Goliath, a trial in your life, look back at that list. Look back at that list. So when every time I see my brother or I remember, he, now he's become my greatest intercessor. Every time I come here and I preach or if I have talks elsewhere, I would always text him in the States and I'll say, Kuya, I have a talk tomorrow or I have a talk this weekend or whatever. And I know somebody's praying for me. He didn't used to be like that. Playboy yan dati eh. Diba? But God has changed him. And um, he's really... He's a walking miracle. So I look at him and I celebrate his win, God's win, and my win through God's faithfulness. Amen? So let's stand up. Amen. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Let's thank our God who is our victor. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you've done for us, for every victory, for every time you've pulled through, Lord. You never fail. You never fail. 
you always deliver on your promise. Sometimes we think you're late, Lord, or you don't hear us, but you always have the perfect timing. So do it again, Lord, in whatever trials we're facing today. Do it again. Show your mighty hand. Show the power, the strength of your right arm, your right hand. And deliver us into victory. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to close your eyes and just feel the presence of God in this place. I want you to think of that moment when you were so down, but God told you, I am here for you and I care for you. I want you to remember that moment when you were feeling so lost, but God guided you in the end. Or maybe when the family member was in a hospital bed fighting for his or her life and God came up to you and told you, here I am, everything is going to be okay. We believe that Jesus was in, was in the past, he is in the present, and he is definitely in the future. So tonight, let us declare his faithfulness that will follow us all the days of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Walking around these walls I thought by now they'll fall But you have never failed me yet, Jesus. Waiting for change to come, knowing the battle's won. For you have never failed me. Still stands great is your faithfulness, your faithfulness I'm still in your hand. This is my confidence, you've never failed me yet. You've never failed me, God. Lift your voice to Jesus today. Come on. I know the night won't last. Your word will come to pass. My heart will sing your praise again. Come on, mean every word today. Feel the presence of Jesus here. Come on. You're still enough. Keep me within your love. Oh, my heart will sing your praise again. Come on, lift your hands to Jesus and declare these words. Come on, we say. today, but let us take this moment, this holy moment to declare that whatever trial, whatever mountain you're facing right now, we declare as one body of Christ, 
that he is good and he is powerful. Whatever mountain that is, he can definitely do it again. If he did it before, he can definitely do it again. So come on, we declare these words. Amen. Come on, we sing together. Hey. take a moment to let that message sink in in your heart right now. Be still. Be still and know that He is God. Let us pray over your dreams right now. If you have your novena to God's love, you can raise it up high in the heavens. Or if you don't have it with you, you can raise your hands and just think about all the dreams that God has planted in your hearts. Let us take this opportunity to surrender our plans to God because He knows everything that we need. He knows your plans. He knows your disease. He knows your victory. He knows your sadness. So whatever it is that inside of you, I want you to lift that to the Lord right now. Everybody say, Jesus, I give you my life. I will follow you for the rest of my life. I give you all my dreams because I believe, Lord, that every mountain that I face, you will break them down in your presence. Every sickness that I have, if I have them, they will be gone in your name. And I believe that success will come and my dream will come true in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, we sing these words. I've seen you move. Come on, we sing together. Hey, I've seen you move. You move the
Jesus is worthy of your praise. Come on, everybody. I think we have announcements. This is usually Randy's part, uh, but Randy has a very important meeting uh, for our mercy ministry. Our mercy ministry. Can we just say a prayer for that? Lord, we lift up to you Randy's meeting with this group that's um, raising funds for our mercy ministries. We pray, Lord, that uh, you would just uh, let this, mini this meeting be favorable so that we. Uh, our mercy ministries will receive the funding that it needs. Use people, use these, this group, these generous people to bless our mercy ministries even more. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, announcements. We're going to um, welcome all the first-time attendees. Who's here for the first time? Yay, can you raise your hand? Yay. Yeah, okay. We, we're, we, want, we have a small gift for you, and we want to welcome you. The, uh, after the feast, can you please um, gather over here? We're going to have someone with a plaque, diba? who will be <laughs> Who will give you a token and who will welcome you to our feast. So we hope that this won't be the first time that you will attend, that uh, we pray that the feast will become your home. Next, um, okay. Oh, uh, this is uh, for the Feast Bulletin Ministry. Uh, who are the writers or those who work at the Feast Bulletin Ministry? Where are you? Okay, we're going to have a semin uh, short session with me. Um, you already have all you need, upgrading your talent and your service in the area of um, writing. Um, for our feast bulletins. So this is going to be not just for SMORA, but for the other uh, writers and um, staff of our feast bulletin in the Makati and Taguig area. So this is happening on February 9 um, here at SMX from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Next is Camp Kalye Unafraid. Do we have a video for that? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Camp Kalye is our annual youth camp. And yes, yeah, Ooh, kahit hindi na mga youth, di ba? Feel na feel natin. Um, I, I, know, I know a lot of young people coming to the Lord because of our youth camp. So if you have um, young, you have teenagers, I think the youth camp is for, somebody help me, ages 14 and above, no? Parang ganyan, tama? 14 up to... Uh, Basta college student, hindi na working, di ba? Tama. So, disqualified na tayo dyan. Okay. Pang speaker na lang tayo. Okay. So, the title of our um, camp is Unafraid, di ba? Brave, courage, unafraid. So, we're, this is happening on May 2 to 5 in Alta Rios Resort in Cavite. So, um... May is, yeah, it's summer. Enroll, you know, sign up your your teenagers here because I know they're going to have a great time. They do the things that we parents don't want them to do, you know. Alas, as in yung nag, nag tatampisaw sila sa putik at nag, you know, they, they rock climb, they they do all sorts of stuff. So we don't allow the parents to be there kasi baka kabahan lang tayo. <laughs> but it's really a lot of fun. Um, so don't be... Um, missing, don't miss the Camp Kalia. Next is Heal. Mind, body, soul, spirit, mind, body, spirit. It's a live, love, couples healing retreat. So tamang-tama sa February, kung wala pang um, regalo ang asawa mo sa'yo, pwede mong hingin ito. February 23 to 24 in Siglo Suites, the Aqua Private Residences. Saan kaya yun? Is that somewhere in... Uh, or somewhere here in Taguig. Tama ba? Anybody knows? Mandaluyong. So it's not so far. Um, for tickets and inquiries, it's 6,500 per couple. Please contact um, Red Relia... Ah, hindi ko mabasa. Red... Haliera, hindi Raliera. Haliera, there you see the number. 0917-532-282... Oh, 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 ah. Kung letra yan, nabasa ko yan eh. 532-2861. Ba't parang sobra? 
532286. Parang sobra, hindi ko alam ha, kung ano sobra. Kopyahin nyo and try. Siguro, uh, ang suspecha ko dyan yung 2 na doble. Okay? Yung isa si Santi Haliera, 0917-532-8633. Okay. So that's for couples. And then our next announcement, it will renew the spark in your eye. Ano kaya yun? It's happening on May 17 at Circuit Makati Activity Center. Ano kaya activity to? It will renew the spark in your eye. Baka nagbebenta ng uh, contact lens, uh, salamin. Ano to, Celine? Ano activity kaya to? Anniversary natin! Ay, sus! Yun naman pala eh. Okay, so we're celebrating our anniversary on May 17. Ilang taon na tayo? Ilang taon? 50 years! Grabe! Hindi pa. Te ha? Uy, iba-iba kayo ha. May 10 years dito, may 6 years. Ano ba? Anong correct answer? 10th anniversary. Ayun, ayun pala. Sorry. <laughs> Ang late kasi ng font nyo eh. Ah, 50 na ako. Kailangan laki-lakihan nyo na. 10th anniversary spiel. Ayun, sorry. Yung pala mabasahin. Everybody has dreams. Um, you know, we dream of having a dream. <laughs> a house, a car, a job. You know, six-pack abs. Pwede na rin. Oh, our one true love. Dreams push us and inspire us. They give us joy and hope. Especially when we're nearing the achievement of big dreams. The ones that seem impossible. And when dreams complement... A uh, life that is lived to its full, you get renewed in every way. So come and join us as we gear up for one of the most important events in the history of Peace Makati and Taguig District. So hindi lang ito para sa atin, yung buong district. Be there on May 17 at the Circuit Makati Activity Center and experience what it means to have life to the full. Save the date, May 17. It's on at 17. In Circuit Makati Activity Center. Now watch this for our next series at the feast. Audio, audio. Teka rewind. Gusto ko yan. Korean novela yan. Anong kaya yan? Kakwento ko sa inyo ending. Okay. Itaikaji bogyoshu mo kiyoshu 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 mo
shepherding or want to um, consult something, counseling, we have uh, pray over and shepherding at the back. At the back. Pagtanong lang po kayo. And prayer requests. Okay, we're coming to the end. Maalala ko si Father Bob. Pakita niyo nga ulit yung ano na yan. Can we pray for Father Bob? That, that, that previous, yeah. Father Bob says mass for us, but he's in the U.S. and he had a heart surgery, right? Yeah, and he was, uh, the last time I um, got a message from him, he was in intense pain. So let's pray for him, Lord, we lift up to you, Father Bob, and we just pray that you may, you know, outpour your love and your healing upon him and help his body to recover from this um, surgery, grant him good health and many, many more years of productive service to bless your people more in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, prayer requests. Um, we have them here. Thank you, Jesus, for using our talents to serve you and help. Uh, praying for enough courage, confidence to find another work and leave my current work. Amen. Praying for complete healing of Mama Sally and praying for stability in my work as a psychologist from Michael. We uh, let's uh, and then our Thanksgiving prayers. We can do this in one prayer. Prayer. Okay. Thank you, Jesus, for using our talents to serve you and help other people. That's from Ryan and Jing. Thank you, Lord. Some of our customers spot on the quarter online. Yay! From Arian. Thank you, Lord, for a false alarm in cancer. From Ash. Yay! Praise God. Diba? the false alarm. Amen. Yan lang ang time na gusto mong negative ang outcome. Diba? Amen. So let's pray. Let's pray for our prayers. Lord, we thank you. We lift up to you. All of the prayers that uh, pray for all of the people who are raising up their envelopes. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that we receive here at the feast. We pray, Lord, for those who have um, personal intentions. Lahat po kami, Panginoon, dito meron kaming mga kanya-kanyang mga pangangailangan. We know that you hear and you answer all of our prayers. And we thank you for all of our answered prayers. Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you. See you next Saturday.